time we are just coming back again to our discussion. Remember, we are talking on how to break the poverty rate among the Ghanaian youths. So join us, join us, join us once again. Welcome, gentlemen and the lady uh, in this uh, wonderful program. Now, the question I asked before we took a short break uh, was, uh, has any one of you been involved in any program towards alleviating poverty or gain or gaining employment? Uh, uh, no, I have not uh, been involved in such a program, um, but I, I, I am very aware of, uh, of programs like that. Uh, I'm also aware of uh, one of uh, program that helps um, yeah, young people coming out of uh, out of jobs or who are unemployed uh, mm -hmm. to help them uh, gain experience because that is a very very Social. important yeah, mm -hmm. factor yeah. nowadays you can be as educated as much as you want if you lack the experience mm -hmm. you're not gonna get a job mm -hmm. and sometimes you might even need experience to be able to gain experience okay it's hold on good, good. let's yeah. take this uh, this time come on. Hello, Colin. Uh, good morning. Yes, please. Yeah, I'd like to join the community. All right. Uh, if the, the panel has uh, educated quite a lot, but I have been saying that there's still uh, a account to the river, my grandfather's account to in the river or the water. Yes. In other words, uh, they can learn the youth uh, how to go about life, but they can't force them whatever they want to do. Thank you so much. So, what are you saying in excess? Is it that the youths are not learning or what? Well, uh, uh, I think at this point, this uh, trying to say we need to be able to adapt quickly to the, the changing environment. Uh, so and, and, yeah, and it, it, the environment definitely is changing all the time. And like I was pointing out already, um, you know, experience is a, a, a big factor. I think one thing that we, uh, the migrants, lack, um, you know, in comparison with uh, the, the, you know, the, the local people, I would say, is a bit of confidence, I think. Uh, you lack confidence? We lack a, a lot of confidence. Even when actually. you can speak the Dutch very well? Even if you can. And well, that, well, is, that is because of the fact that you already have... Um, you're already behind when you get here. You're already behind in so many things. It's a, a totally different <laughs> system here. When you get here, yeah, everything is different. By the time that you get to know everything, I think you yeah, oh. you, you have to be able to, you have to invest a lot in, in that kind of uh, information. You yeah. know, that is something that is not just out there. You need to learn the tricks of, <laughs> of, yeah, of, the, of the new system. And That's true. when you're not aware of it, you might be, uh, you, you might like that kind of confidence. I mean, I've experienced that many times uh, yes. over so, and a lot of my friends, not even uh, Ghanaian, also um, <laughs> Turkish uh, uh, people that I know, they have pointed it out. <laughs> and right now, I'm, I'm, for me personally, I'm trying to work on that, to work yes. on that confidence, because even when you have the knowledge, even when you have uh, the skills, it is essential that you can impose a lot of confidence. You can, yeah, show confidence in uh, in everything that you do and that can have a that can make a, a lot of a major difference uh, in your life especially on the labor market where it's, where it's quite essential actually. yes thank you so much um yes yeah. you have something to say well well he was talking about the lack of confidence and what well, first of all he said that people come in late and because of that, uh, maybe they have a lot of catch up, catching up to do. Uh, I was reading just last week uh, a little bit of the profile of Ayan Hesi Ali, or yeah. I'm twisting their names, but you know the name I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, she came in here, uh, I don't know, I think she was probably in the 20s, and uh, took a, became a political um, refugee. 
go to asylum and then begin to plunge herself into the system. She now and then she began to rise to the ranks, you know, did all the minor jobs a little bit and then began to rise through the education, went to light and study and began to rise so fast. Now, what I think um, we are missing is, is uh, a certain amount of determination, you know, and a focus to, 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 uh, to achieve. You get the point? Maybe we do not have people who are inspiring us or pushing us and driving us to, to great heights. I understand all the limitations may be there, starting late, uh, the language not good enough and stuff like that. But still, we would wish we could have a certain amount of determination and focus and poise to drive us, you know, ahead. Where people don't give us what we want, we can create it for ourselves. What we, what we need to have, like she said. You see, so maybe in the community we don't have that kind of drive. That's why maybe we have a lot of uh, we have taken ourselves by this backlog of unemployment and what what have you. Because it's been said that Ghanaians notoriously, Ghanaians notoriously, uh, are, are, are the spiritual level is high here, yeah, and then the, the what? This, the spiritual level is so high here, uh -huh. yeah, and then the social level is so down. Uh, so it's not balanced. It's not so I mean, yeah. we have to come to a level whereby things have to be balanced. I mean, those in the secular, those those educated yeah. who are educated, who can impact the society, yeah. have to come out, you know, and and then they inspire you to as much as the religious leaders are. Yeah. Yeah. So being so religious and then in the secular world you are down so i mean it's not balanced it's not balanced Absolutely. so something have to be so done so most people need to be done to inspire people to really give us that motivational you know, speakers like look at what um uh, uh, uh douglas is saying here that confidence that confidence they need it so yeah. they need they need and, and i can imagine if a young a young star like this is saying that yeah. they don't have that the confidence, then yeah. how much more they are, they are young girls too because some of them, they are speaking the language quite well. But when they get to where they're supposed to get the thing done, they don't have the boldness because they haven't learned it anywhere. Yeah. So they need, they need, they need more role models. They need uh, motivational speakers who will teach them how to carry yourself and then how to present yourself. <laughs> that is education. Education. They need to educate the youth and the, the youth uh, because when you look at this here, they have. Kente festival, they have this, they have that, but you, you will never hear them that we have this, that we to educate the youth. Yeah, you don't yeah. hear that. Yeah. Here they have local chiefs, uh, like <coughs> Ghana, they have it here. You go to some to someone's house, you say, I'm a chief, so I have a stool in my house. When they are doing something, I have to put on, like, turn myself, like, but, but they don't have that, that, oh, let me use my position to inspire the youth, to educate the youth. They don't have that. Um, we, we have a problem to solve, a yeah, big yeah. one. Uh, well, yes, I, no. think, I think um, that actually uh, the point uh, uh, Reverend Larry, uh, uh, Reverend, Larry. Reverend Larry was saying, um, I think I agree <coughs> completely with that. But to solve that is, is going to be a, a very, very big issue. Um, the problem, I think, um, lies in the goal with which we come here. If you are here mainly to to make money, yeah, yes, you know, to make your money and support your yourself okay. and your family, you know, yeah. you don't concentrate on the other stuff. Absolutely, all of that it becomes secondary. Yes, yeah, it, 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 it's all secondary stuff. Mm. So as for that, you know, that um, translate back to the youth. Mm -hmm. You know, they also. get into that kind of situation as well. I mean, for me personally, I think. For the youth to really progress, mm -hmm. they have to completely separate themselves from their backgrounds, from yes. their family ties. Absolutely. Know? That I mean, not physically, but mm -hmm. in their mindset, like, uh, yes. like uh, Madame was saying. I mean, you, we have to be able to separate ourselves from that. We have to try and wow. be people who are from it because I think we we have. Um, yeah. Well, we are running up this. Uh, hello. Uh, yes, uh, we are sorry we are rounding up make right now free. because, make okay, free. just uh, say your distance because make we want free. to put on the news. Oh, all right, then. Go ahead, let's. Yeah, please, can you go on? Oh, okay. <clears throat> I just want to tell the panel that um, if you are listening, that we have a Ghana organization here. So why oh, don't they go there? If there's some people in there. 
so that maybe they can bring these ideas and they can see what to do. That as they attend this festival, festival and so on and so forth. So if they have something like that, they can also, I mean, let them know so that they can, I mean, have a workshop. I mean, how to educate uh, the youth because in our time they say any any back for the so please they should go there and then inform them so that they can see what to do to help the youth. Thank you. Thank you so much. On this note, we are bringing our, our listen to a close because of time. And we want to say thank you to every one of you who have been in the panel, to Douglas, to Caroline, yes. to Percy. I'm going to have you again more and more. God richly bless you. And thank you listeners for having listened. <laughs>